So, good morning, class. Morning, ma'am. Good morning. So, how's morning. your day? Good morning, ma'am. How's your day? It's a nice day. Oh, that's great. And that's okay. good to hear. So, before we start the day, let us pray first. Miss Jenny Katakutan, can you lead the prayer? Yes, Puma. So guys, please mute your microphones for our prayer. Let's bow our head and feel the presence of the Lord in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord God, thank you so much for giving us another day to study and prepare for a better life in the future. Thank you for giving us a chance to continue learning amidst a pandemic which caused a lot of changes in our lives. Bless our parents who work hard to support our needs. Bless also our teachers who are doing their best to inspire and guide us, especially in these trying times. Lord, fill us with your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Give us good memory so that we might understand and remember what we are going to study now. So this we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. So thank you, Ms. Katakutan. As I call your name, kindly say present if you are here, okay? Yes, Puma. Mr. Bobby Brunyas. Present po, ma'am. Mr. Mark Burbano. Present. Miss Joanne Candelario. Present po. Miss Jenny Katakutan. Present po, ma'am. Mr. Clarence Cruz. Mr. Clarence. Okay, so Miss Abigail Debera. Present, ma'am. Miss Rufa de la Cruz. Present, ma'am. Miss Christine Domingo. Present, ma'am. Miss Roxelle Romero. Present, ma'am. Miss Trisha Joyce Suarez. Present, po, ma'am. Miss Mara Valerio. Oh, wala din siya. Miss Winville Ignacio. Mr. Winville Ignacio. Wala din. So, meron tatlong absent. So, before we start, let me present first our classroom rules. Okay. Nakikita na ba? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yan, wait. <clears throat> Nakikita nyo na ba? Yes po, ma'am. So, number one, respect and listen to your classmates and teacher. Next, raise your hand to speak. Contribute to the discussion. Be honest. Share new ideas. Be kind. Be prepared for the class. And lastly, always do your best. <laughs> so last meeting, I gave you an assignment, right? Yes. Yes, yes ma'am. All right, so very good to those who already submitted their assignment. And to those who haven't yet, you still have until the end of our class to submit it, okay? Yes, Puma. Okay, very good. So, class, who among you can recall our past topic?
Ma'am, ako po. Yes, Miss? Romero po, ma'am. Mr. Romero, please answer. Our pre previous lesson is all about energy transfer po. Correct. So, I hope you understand our past lesson. So, now, we will do a short activity entitled, Guess My Emoji. So, the class will be divided into two groups. Group 1 are from Mr. Brinas to Ms. Tivera, and Group 2 will be from Ms. Domingo to Ms. Valerio. Did you get it? Yes, <coughs> yes ma'am. Ma Alright, so I will now present the activity. Please pay attention. There will be some emojis and symbols to be presented and try to guess the hidden words or phrases behind it. Just raise your hand if you know the answer. So we will now start. Number one. Who wants to answer number one? Who has an idea? Kindly un unmute yourself and answer. Ma'am. Yes. A sexual reproduction. Correct. That's a sexual reproduction. Now let's move on to number two. Who wants to answer? Just unmute your microphone. Ma'am. Fragmentation. All right. Very good, Miss Katakutan. That's fragmentation. Next, who wants to answer the item number three? Ma Brinyas po. Oh, Brinyas. Mr. Brinyas, please answer. Bi binary fission po. Correct. That's binary fission. And for the fourth item, who wants to answer? Ma'am. Loris yes. Jane Makachag po. Yes, Miss Makachag. Badding po. Correct. Very good. For the last item, who wants to answer? Domingo, ma'am. Yes, Miss Domingo. Um, the answer is, is for formation. So, very good. So, all of your answers are correct. Before we formally start, I will play a short video presentation about the topic we are going to discuss today. Bring out your notebook and pen silently and try to list down important details on the video. Yes, Puma. Okay.
So based on the video we have watched, what do you think is our topic? Yes, Miss Domingo. I think, ma'am, it's a sexual reproduction. Very good. So the topic that we are going to discuss today is about a sexual reproduction. We have here the objective. So before the end of our class, you should be able to define a sexual reproduction in its types, cite the advantages and disadvantages of a sexual reproduction in producing an offspring, and classify organisms if it undergoes a sexual reproduction. So, what is reproduction? Who wants to read the slide? Yes, Miss Katakutan. Reproduction. Reproduction is when organisms produce or form new living things. It occurs when plants and animals reproduce to make new individuals of the same species. Thank you. Very good, Miss Katakutan. So, reproduction is when organisms produce or form new living things. It occurs when plants and animals reproduce to make new individuals of the same species. Actually, we have two types of reproduction, the asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. But for today's discussion, we will only focus on the asexual reproduction. So, what is asexual reproduction? Can they read what's on the slide? Yes, Miss Makachag, please read. Mom, a sexual reproduction takes place when organisms produce offspring without fertilization. It involves only one parent. A reproduced offspring in this type of reproduction inherit all their DNA from one parent. They are generally identical to each other and to their parent, ma'am. Very good. Thank you, Ms. Makachag. So in a sexual reproduction, a reproduced offspring in this type of reproduction inherit all their DNA from one parent. They are genetically identical to each other and to their parent. A sexual reproduction is the type of reproduction where there is only one parent involved to reproduce offspring that is genetically similar to that parent. In short words, the offspring are the clone of the parent. So how does offspring produce in a sexual reproduction? Offspring are produced by cell division. Now, who has an idea about cell division? Um, yes, Miss Domingo. Cell division is the process by which a parent cell divides into two or more daughter, daughter cells. Very good, Miss Domingo. Here are the following types of asexual reproduction. The binary fission, budding, fragmentation, and spore formation. Now let's start with the first type of asexual reproduction, which is the binary fission. Who wants to read? Who wants to read the slide class? Mom. Yes. Can you proceed? In binary fission, organisms divide in half where identical daughter cells. Yes, thank you, Mr. Ignacio. 
So in binary fission, organisms divide in half or identical daughter cells produce. In this process, an organism duplicates its genetic material and then divides into two parts. These two parts or new organism will receive one copy of DNA. This, kung nakikita nyo tong nasa illustration, ganyan po ang nangyayari sa binary fission. Next, the next type of asexual reproduction that we are going to discuss is the budding. So kindly read the slide. Yes, Miss Devera. In budding, new organisms grow by mitosis and cell divisions on the body of its parent. Small bud grows out of parent cell, where new offspring is produced. Budding occurs commonly in some invertebrate animals such as mm. corals and hydras. Very good. Thank you, Miss Devera. So as you can see, we have here the hydra, which is, <coughs> excuse me, which is undergoing the process of budding. Then a small bud started to grow from a certain part of the parent. This small bud will continue to grow until it's self-detached from its parent. Kung nakikita nyo dito, the green one is the parent hydra, while the orange one is the new offspring or the daughter hydra. Next, the next type of asexual reproduction that we're going to discuss is the fragmentation. So who wants to read? Ms. De La Cruz, kindly read the slide. Fragmentation. Fragmentation occurs when a parent organism breaks into fragments or pieces and each fragment develops into new organism. Very good. Thank you, Ms. Rufa. So as an example of organism that is undergoing fragmentation is, is starfish as shown in this illustration. So the parent starfish started to break its one arm. You can see that one arm of the starfish was cut. Then this particular arm is capable to grow independently into a new organism that is identical to its parent with respect to shape, size, and other dimension. Ayan, ito na yung daughter starfish. Next, for the last type of asexual reproduction, the spore formation, who wants to read? Ms. Makadchag, can you read the slide? Yes, ma'am. In this type of reproduction, some plants produce tiny spherical cells called spores that grow into oh. new individuals. Examples are mushrooms, molds, ferns, and mosses. Very good, Ms. Makachag, and thank you. So in this type of reproduction, some plants produce tiny spherical cells called spores that grow into new individuals. In these organisms have the sporangia, where it is a sac where many spores are stored. When it bursts, many single cell thin or thick walled structures called spores are obtained. Then <coughs> Under suitable conditions, they develop into a new plant. So, do you understand? Class, did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Do, do you have any question about the four yes, types of asexual reproduction? None, po, ma'am. Are you sure? <clears throat> Yes, Puma. So if you don't have any question, then who can recall the four types of asexual reproduction? Miss Jenny Katakutan, can you recall the four types of asexual reproduction? Hello, ma'am. 
Yes. So the four types of sexual reproduction are binary fusion, fragmentation, budding, and spore formation. Puma. Very good, Miss Katakutan. So the four types are the binary fusion, where the parent cell will divide into two daughter cells. Next is the budding, where a small bud will grow to a certain part of a parent and will result to new organism. Then next, the fragmentation is when fragments of organism will able to develop into new organism that is identical to the parent. And lastly, the spore formation where new organism will form through spores. So did I make myself clear, class? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay, so then let's proceed to the advantages of a sexual reproduction. Can you read the first advantage, Miss Romero? Only one organism is required to establish a colony. Yes, very good, Miss Romero. So the first advantage is only one organism is required to establish a colony. So just like what I said a while ago, reproduction has two types sexual and asexual reproduction. So for those who reproduce sexually, a partnership must be established before a colony can be established. But in asexual reproduction, this is not necessary. Only one parent can produce daughter cells of virtually unlimited size over time. Next, kindly read what's the next advantage. Mr. Borbano. Yes, ma'am. Ito po naka-plus sa kwan. Opo. Screen niyo po. Yes. Advantage, advantages of sexual reproduction are only one organism is required to establish a colony and no wasted time and energy. So, very good, Miss Borbano. So, the second advantage is no waste time and energy. This is somehow related to the first advantage because only one parent is required for this reproductive process. The energy requirements throughout the entire cycle of reproduction are reduced. And the time to find a mate is not really necessary for a sexual reproduction. Next, the third advantage is kindly read Mr. Brignas. Mr. Brignas, are you there? Okay, so the third advantage is it can occur in various environments. So asexual organisms are highly adaptive. They can take on different form or adapt to changing environments and are still be able to successfully reproduce, but only if the environmental conditions are suitable for them. Then the last advantage of asexual reproduction, who wants to read? Ms. Makadshak, can you read the last advantage of asexual reproduction? Yes, ma'am. Positive genetic influences are guaranteed to be passed to the next. Okay, thank you, Ms. Makadshak. So the last advantage of asexual reproduction is Positive genetic influences are guaranteed to be passed to the next generation. So because the offspring created through the process of asexual reproduction, it is essentially a duplicate of the parent. So all the positive traits of the species are virtually guaranteed to be passed along. So lahat ng positive traits from parents are maipapas lahat sa offspring. Gets ba, guys? Do you have any questions about the advantages of asexual reproduction? None, ma. None. Okay, so if none, then. None, ma. 
Let's proceed to the disadvantages of asexual reproduction. Can you read the first disadvantage, Miss Domingo? The first disadvantage is population numbers can be difficult to control. Very good. Thank you, Miss Domingo. So the first disadvantage is population numbers can be difficult to control. Since there is only one parent involved in this process, the population numbers of a species can increase at a dramatic rate, especially when there are favorable environmental conditions. So if the environment is favorable for the species, they are able to reproduce at a dramatic rate, which will result to overpopulation. So the last two disadvantages of asexual reproduction are asexual organisms typically have lower lifespan and once changed can eliminate an entire species. So bakit nga ba ganito? Do you have an idea guys? Okay, so this is because a specific species may only be suited only in one habitat. So if the habitat is not suitable or suddenly changed to something that the organism can live, that organism will die or can be eliminated with the entire species. So guys, do you have any other questions and clarifications? None po. Po, okay, then I will be the one to give the questions. But before that, this or the summary of what we have tackled today. So we tackled about the reproduction and asexual reproduction and its types, which are the binary fission, budding, fragmentation, spore formation. Then we also tackled about the disadvantages of asexual reproduction, which are only one organism is required to establish a colony. Then no wasted time and energy. Then it can occur in various environments. And lastly, positive genetic influences are guaranteed to be passed to the next generation. <clears throat> we also tackled about the disadvantages of asexual reproduction. So who wants to read that three disadvantages of asexual reproduction? Ms. Makachag, can you read? Okay, then ako na lang. So the disadvantages of asexual reproduction are population numbers can be difficult to control. Asexual organisms typically have lower lifespan and once changed, can eliminate an entire species. Okay, since you don't have any question now, I will be the one to give the question. The question is, in your own understanding, what is a sexual reproduction? Kindly answer, Miss Abigail Dibera. Mom, as a Asexual reproduction enables the organisms to reproduce without a mate. It enables a large number of uniform offspring. Very good, Ms. Devera. So asexual reproduction is the type of reproduction where there is only one parent involved to reproduce offspring that is genetically similar to that parent. So the offspring are the clone of the parent. The next question or who can give the four types of asexual reproduction and how organisms of each type reproduce? Who wants to answer? Yes, please proceed. 
The four types of asexual reproduction are the binary fission, budding, fragmentation, and spore formation. Binary fission divides into half and produces two identical daughter cells. In budding, small bud grows out of parent cell where new offspring is produced. While fragmentation occurs when a parent organism breaks into fragments. And lastly, is the sp spore formation where spores grow into new individual. Very good, Miss De La Cruz. So those are the four types of asexual reproduction. The binary fission, budding, fragmentation, and spore formation. Now, who can give an example of organism or, or organisms that reproduce asexually and identify which type of asexual reproduction it is under? Mr. Clarence, can we answer? Ma'am, an example of organism that reproduce asexually is the bacteria, and it is under binary fusion. fusion. Yes. Very good, Miss Katakutan. Who else can give an example? Yes, Miss Makachag. Miss Makachag, are you there? Ma'am, another example. Yes, please proceed. Mr. Ignacio. Another example is Hydra and it is undergoing the process or it reproduces through body. Very good, Mr. Ignacio. So the bacteria reproduced through binary fusion where a cell is divided into two and results to two new daughter cells, while the hydra reproduced through budding where a small bud will grow on a specific part of the parent, then it will detach and become new organism. So did I make myself clear, class? Yes, Puma. All right, then let's proceed. Let's do this activity. Classify the following if it undergoes a sexual reproduction or not. And if it undergoes a sexual reproduction, then identify what type of asexual reproduction. Item number one, who wants to answer? Miss Joanne Candelario, can you answer? Yes, ma'am. Please proceed. A sexual reproduction is for formation po. Yes, very good, Miss Candelario. So Moses reproduce asexually through spore formation. Then the next item, Hydra, who wants to answer? Um. Yes, please proceed. Uh, a sexual reproduction, ma'am. As it will undergo budding, budding portion. Very good, Mr. Bobby. So Hydra reproduce asexually through budding. Next, the third item. Who wants to answer? Can we unmute your mic? Yes, ma'am. Equally, a sexual reproduction Binary fission. Very good, Miss Domingo. So E. coli reproduce asexually through binary fission. Next, the fourth one. Who wants to answer? Asexual Mr. reproduction, ma'am. Spore, spore formation. Very good, Mr. Ignacio. So ferns reproduce asexually through spore formation. Then last, sea stars. Who wants to answer? Ako po, ma'am. Yes. Asexual reproduction, fragmentation. Very good, Mr. Borbano. So, sea stars reproduce asexually through fragmentation. 
So very good class. All of your answers are correct. And I think you are now ready for our quiz. Right? Yes, Mama. Yes, okay, yes, so bring out one fourth sheet of paper and pen silently. Answer the following correctly and identify what is being asked on each item. I will give you three minutes to answer this slide. And if you have any other question, just raise your hand and unmute yourself. You may now begin. All right, are you done? Next slide now. Okay, next slide. Are you done? Yes, Puma. Okay, next slide. Three minutes is up. Next slide. Then Puma. Next slide.
Are you done, class? Yes, po, ma'am. Okay, so for items 15 to 16, you need to give two organisms that reproduce asexually that were not mentioned in the discussion. So, on example. Then for item 17 to 20, that's essay for four points. You need to answer, how does these advantages and disadvantages of a sexual reproduction benefited the people and the environment? I will give you three minutes to answer this. So, are you done, class? Yes, Puma. All right. If you are done, take a photo of your answers and send it to the chat box before our class ends. But if you fail to submit it on time, points will be deducted. Is it clear? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay, very good, everyone. You can submit it now. I hope everything was clear and all of you understood our lesson. So for your assignment, wait. Nakikita ba? Yes po, ma'am. Visible po. Wait. Yun. So for your assignment, You will search about the types of cell. Nakikita nyo? Yes, Nakikita yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so, search about the types of cell, then write it on a one whole sheet of paper. Gets ba, class? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, now may I request everyone to open their cameras for our documentation. Okay, thank you. So that's it for today. Thank you, Puma. Goodbye, Po. Thank you, everyone. Bye, Ma. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. 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 Bye. Bye, Paul. Bye, Bye ma'am.